G'day guys, welcome back to Wombat Gaming. Today I'm going to be showing you the best locations, I believe, in order to find the highest level uh, bosses you can find and the best locations, as in points of interest, that have the most bosses and the best ones, I guess, for what you're looking for, which is all well, of us are looking for the best gear or the best weapons. So I'm going to be showing you my favorite location and, and then the point of interest on that uh, actual place to get the best out of you know your leveling up as well so it doesn't matter what level you are you could be level 20 or you could be uh, level 100 these locations are going to give you the best loot for your level just bear that in mind some levels don't get certain weapons and, and it's obviously some weight weapons are scalable as well as as, as much as armor is as well as two so uh, look the planet i'm on i'm going to show you right now where we are we are in the Hawking system, which is to the far right of the map. Um, you pretty much can't go any further to the right, so I don't really need to show you much more than that. Just come all the way out here to Hawking. Um, there's you know, uh, Archimedes here, so just to the right of that is the Hawking. Now, the place that I go the most, uh, I tend to stick to moons when I'm doing this, and I've started off on Hawking 1A. So I'm this, and I've just basically started uh, landing in random places and then scanning. Now some tips with scanning too, if you do have your scanning, you know, uh, what do I say, uh, maxed out, so I, I've got a high level scanner, it'll actually tell you with a little symbol what some things are. Um, this one here, you can see it says structure, so there are military structures as well, better than mine. This one just came up as a normal structure as well, I can't show you the symbol here. But the lower level you are in regards to your scanning, you, you, it'll just give you a plain symbol and it will just say structure. So just some points there. I do get military symbols as well um, when I'm scanning. So and I've noticed that some people mentioned that they don't see that. And that's because my scanner is, is upgraded in my skills. All right, so I've gotten rid of everybody on the outside here just to make it a bit quicker for us. Uh, this is the first location that we've come to and it is the abandoned mine and it doesn't look you know too much on the outside to be honest it's just this one hab area here and then you know we've got this area down here now the great thing about this location it has uh, at least three bosses and if i can remember rightly so there is a small i think a small boss on the outside here i just killed him down here i think if i'm right um all right, so it's just, uh, yeah, you can see we just got, yeah, it wasn't too good. I just left it on him, but it's uh, just a dagger. So, but that's your kind of first, I guess, boss, you know, with the two health bars. Now, a lot of people have come to this location. I've seen some people do videos on this location and I've noticed that they've just thought this is it, you know, because you come to this door over here and doesn't open there's no no way of opening it so a lot of people have kind of like looked around and given up and then thought uh this area in the center here well it has a storage box i don't know and you know this stuff here weapons case got nothing in it uh but that's it and so they've disappeared so well that door does open so i'll put that out right now and i'll give you another couple of tips as well bring lots of digi picks to these locations this one in particular, because this uh, location has a lot of locked doors. Do they have anything of value? And it has a lot of, uh, you know, things like that, like safes and, and storage and stuff like that, that you want to open. And there's nothing worse getting to a safe and going, I can't open it. Now, there is a way around that, of course. If you only have one or two Digipix on you, uh, you could just uh, save, hard save, before you open something like this. So I do that quite often. Storage crates generally have the garbage in them. So if you did want to open this, I would do a hard save first and then and then open it. Okay, so bear that in mind. I'm going to skip that one because uh, I've opened them in other places sometimes and don't seem to have anything in them. So now the door you, opens up this way. There is this lever here and that opens that up there. And then you've got some you know ammo crates and stuff up here as well. So that's pretty much it here. There is some bits and pieces in that room up there. Uh, there are turrets in this location, two, two turrets. There's one there and one there. They can be turned off uh, in that room up there. There's a computer if you can be bothered going in there and turning them off, but they do shoot you as you come into the area. All right, we'll head on in and I'll show you this complex and I'll tell you, show you why it's such a good complex. Now, uh, next tip would be make sure that you're landing on this planet to uh, World Moon in the hardest setting 
You can always change that setting to a lower setting if you want and you're finding it too hard. But bear in mind when you do get to these doors, this is a, a, a door that's going to do a cutscene. So it's going to load into another area. So you want to be on your hardest setting before you go into this section. Don't forget to, to, to do that. Make sure that you keep your setting uh, on the highest setting or remember to change it back before you go through any door like this. All right, we'll head on in and I'll show you this area. All right, had the wrong gun out. Not sure what I was doing there. So basically, they're they're here straight away. So um, they're quite high level, as you can see. Now there are two ways into this facility. This is the first way. You can go through here, and there's like a caverns and stuff. I like to go the other way, but the, is, do we miss somebody? All right, hang on. We'll just get rid of this person. And she's shooting at somebody else by the looks. Oh, there we go up there. Just get rid of these two guys first. But you can see these guys are Valrune and the Zealots. So if you're looking for a Valrune, you know, weapon, this is going to be the place to get it. Uh, he's not coming out. Lost them. All right. Well. He's just going to hide over there. We're going to come back around that way anyway. So we'll go uh, show you this area. So we've got a uh, first little module here. This is our first locked door here. So like I said, if you want to hard save here before you do this, you can reuse that uh, save and save that digipick. All right, we're into this one. So this one in here just has, I think it has just like some credits lying around. Uh, so if you some bits and pieces. Um, what else we got in here? Let's have a quick look. Nothing that I particularly want. So you could, if you wanted to, if you wanted to skip this room because I just had some credits, that would be the, the you know, you could go back and go, all right, well, just, there's no safe or anything in here. So I want to save that digipick. Don't really want to use it. You could reload that hard save and skip this room completely. So as you can see, there was nothing in here for me. So we will reload that hard save to save that digi pick and come back. Okay, I've um, reloaded the save to save me that digi pick. So that's what I was saying. It's a little tactic you can use. Now we'll come back up this way and head back through here. There's another module area through here. Now, if you want to keep your scanner open, you can. It shows you where all these things are. Now, the first thing you want to not miss is the credits here. There's also a monthly magazine here. So make sure you pick that up. And this room here has things like med packs and stuff like that. So make sure you grab those. Thanks to the new, you can just eat away and replenish your health if you want to. So not that that's making any dint on my health at all. But there you go. There's some more food there. All right. Um, so we head down this way. Um, get some more food. Okay. Uh, we've got some dead uh, miners in here. And this room here has um, some more credits, I think, on the table. Yep, here we go. And more food, etc. And there's another locked room here. So this is another locked room. This one, I recall, has got some, I've got a helmet at least in here. So we'll go in there and have a look. All right, so we're in now and I'm pretty sure there's a helmet. Yeah, there it is. There's a helmet in here. And um, this will change as a rare helmet this time. Um, and we have med kit, so we've got some credits. And there we go, we've got a digi pick as well. So we get our digi pick back in this one. So that's, uh, and more credits over here. I think there's some more on the floor. Yeah, there it is, some more floor credits. All right, so that's that room. Uh, there's not much else here, if, if I recall. Okay, thank you for taking out those people for us. Okay, so there's another room in here. Uh, look, to be honest, there's not much in this room either. Uh, actually, there's a spacesuit in here. So we'll, we'll, we'll go in and have a look. Um, okay, so up here, up here, there's a spacesuit. So it's a pretty high uh, levels, actually, spacesuit. So if you wanted to get yourself one, um, I think I'm at level 88 at the moment. Yep. So if you wanted to grab that, it's a little less than mine. You can see when it says red, it's down on mine. And then you can see green is it's slightly better. Uh, but I have a legendary um, spacesuit on, so I'm not going to go that. 
in this it's got credit just cutters and then I think there might be some credits in here. There we go. And our digi pick. So you're not going to lose your digi pick. And yeah, some pieces. There's another digi pick. I mean, sorry, credit stick as well. So that's pretty much it, I think, in here. There's another gun and just some other stuff. So yeah, so there you go. All right, so that's that room. So we're going to head basically this way now. We've come to the far side. And there's plenty of ammo around, so don't forget to pick that up. And what do we got? We don't need that. And we're going to head down these stairs. So this goes through a tunnel area. Now, just down at the bottom of the stairs, there is a helmet. It's going to be different all the time, I think. All right, and then we, I think that's it in this. Oh, there's a crate. Yeah, nothing in that one. All right, so I think that's it for this area. And generally, there's yeah, this guy's a, a actually sh didn't even see me. I don't know why, but anyway, there you go. Spoils of victory. Hopefully, they amount Just go to down something. this path, and the bottom of these stairs is going to be where our first group of, I guess you could say, bosses are. So it's in this area up here. It's usually two or three just in this area here, so we'll be a little bit careful coming into here. There's another one hiding in there. Alright, so around the corner here is going to be, I think there's usually two or three uh, bosses, so we can tell them whether, actually it might be a bit further up, so we'll go a little bit further. So if you wanted to loot these guys, yep, they're just going to have ammo and stuff on them, maybe some credits. Now, uh, this area here, if you go down the back here, there's like a little tunnel, you can go this way if you want to. Got this guy here, just got some stuff on him, apple pie, apple pie, and there's like a, a way to go up that way, but we want to go up the stairs, I think it's just the best way. So there are a number of ways you can go. So we're going to go up these stairs. Uh, there are two ways, you can go up those stairs as well. I'll go this way, just to show you. And just going up the top. We've got uh, some ammo up here, and these are the guys we just took out. Alright, so that's pretty much this little section. As you can see, there's not much up here, so we'll go back across here and then up these stairs. And our first, I guess you could say, captains or bosses are going to be in this area. So this is where you want to, here's our first one, he's an 84, and I think there's going to be at least one more. Can't see him at the moment. And, alright, well we're just going to take him out and see what we get. Alright, so we could have uh, safe scummed on this guy. You can see, got some digi picks in his. Uh, what do we got there? It's a cornered advanced um, Valrun star sh shard. So uh, not too bad. It's cornered, and just to show you, you can get the good stuff in here. So now this room here's got some stuff in it. Don't skip this room. Always something pretty cool in this one. So uh, this time we've got just the Lawgiver. These things don't change. So once you come into the building, they're set, and just some some other bits and pieces. A few digi picks to stock up on, 
and, and there's some more stuff over here as well if you want to have a look at this as well so we don't want that though so we're going to leave it uh, so we have at least one more guy in this area which we're usually i've seen by now now there is another locked door up in here now this door is the other way back through so you but you don't want to skip this room it's got you know, as you can see some stuff in here red pistol if you want that and lots of ammo not that i probably need any at the moment and some got some helmets in here as well so just bear that in mind too so if you're after a helmet a couple of spacesuits uh, that one the bounty hunter spacesuit there you go so a lot of people are after a high level bounty hunter spacesuit that is actually pretty high it's a little lower than my one but i've got a legendary one on at the moment and just go and see if we can find this other control captain a good place it's a bit of a rabbit warren in here so we're gonna head up that way And down this way. There's our other guy. So we, this is a 64. So the other guy was the higher leveled guy. So just bear that in mind. So. Now, oh, there we go. There's an 84. I knew there'd be another one in here somewhere. So, so we've got two, uh, three that we could save on. Um, what did he have an explorer all, all right race, is it not? all right so he's in a good position we could actually have just we could save here do a quick save and then we could just take him out so we got a crappy knife that time so this guy's in what 84 i think he was he's a zealot so we will reload that quick save and slightly better gun this time so you Depending on what you're after, I'm not after that gun, so not good for me. Now we'll reload a few times. We'll just do this uh, scum save, they call it, I guess. And we'll see if we can get something good. I'm going to cut out a little bit of it so until we find something good. And I'll tell you how many times it took me to get something good from this guy. But as you can see, this complex, there's a couple more guys to kill in this complex. But that's pretty much it for this one. So I'll skip through as much as I can, show you something good, and then we'll go on to the next location. All right, we managed to get uh, this particular gun out of this guy. I think this is like the seventh time I tried the the reload, and it's a one-inch punch assassins. Um, it's a legendary laser rifle. So there's any downside with one-inch punch. I'm not a real big fan of this on rifles. For me, I, the idea of a rifle is that it's a, for range, and this one obviously with one-inch punch lowers the range down to twenty. You can see, but um, something at least you can see it's given me quite a, a reasonably good gun and its fire rate is quite high on this thing but we'll head off to the next location now she's not happy with me <laughs> and we'll um we'll show you another great location on this moon that you can find lots of commanders um, in as well or i should say bosses and we'll um go through a couple more locations okay all right guys we're at our next location this is one of my favorite locations as well this is a mine again these mines on this planet seem to be pretty good. It's an, an abandoned mine this time, and it's pretty distinctive, this big tower, usually on top of a rock. And we'll quickly take out, there's a few people on the outside that have really no consequences. Uh, we'll take them out quickly, and then we'll uh, jump into the mine and show you how it all works in there. There are a couple of good bosses in this one as well. I think we have uh, spaces in this one, and they're pretty high levels, so we'll get to them, and I'll show you this mine out. All right, I just took those guys out just to make it a bit quicker for us. Uh, there is a small hab over here. It's pretty much nothing on the outside though, just a few guards to take out. And again, make sure you're in the highest setting as well. Uh, uh, this guy's got a big bang on him, so if you're, there you go. It's a pretty low one, but it's got no mods on it. But essentially, this particular location is again one of those locations you're going to enter a cutscene and it's going to reload everything inside the cave so make sure you're on the highest difficulty when you go into this place 
Now this is a, yeah, a mine like I said, so it works its way down into a cavernous area. I spent more than enough time in my life in caves. But if there is something to be gained in this one, you should investigate. And basically when I go to that door over there, there'll be a few guys in here we need to take out. There is a 50 in, level 50 in here. Uh, there are a couple of higher ones lower down. I think that's it. So there are a couple of ways again with this particular one to go down. You can see there didn't have much on him. You can go through that door there or you can go over this way. Actually there's the other guy there. All right. And you can go down this way. Now I prefer to go through where is it this door up here it's just you get a better vantage point of them from this angle rather than coming up the mine you're going down the mine the small area over here with some chests and stuff in it so we got a few things in here what's this we got a there you go so yeah we're heavy well we'll leave it though uh, so we'll head on up this ramp here. I'm skipping over a lot of stuff, so take your time through this. I'm just trying to speed it up for everybody else and you guys that are watching, so it's not too long. So when we get to this section in here, you're, you're essentially... Oh. Sorry, I wasn't expecting him to be there, to be honest. Alright, so we've got another captain that's our second one uh, the second one up here so when you come to this edge here you can see it goes down in a second I'm just gonna see what we've got up here and anything we can use all right so we got a, a walkway you can go all the way down through here and it's generally yeah there we go a guy over there so here we go he's down and then we have a bunch of them at the bottom here. So we should have, I think, two captains down here. Get rid of him. Uh, no, he's just a normal. Should be a 98, I think. Oh, no, there we go. There he is. There's the pilot engine. And I don't think there's anybody else in here. Oh, one more. There we go. Get rid of him if we can. Alright, so we just got the pirate legend left now. And this is a 98, so it's pretty high. If you've got to get any kind of loot, this is going to be where you're going to get it. So we'll take him down a few notches in health. And then we'll go down and do this save again. save here and we got a bounty hunter spacesuit so not too bad um, it's a lot lower than the one I'm currently have got I'm not sure how I'm, I can't remember actually where I got one from but you can see the stats on one are pretty good um, so I'm not sure where to get that I wish I could have remembered but we'll reload this one a few times and see what we can get from this guy I won't show you much else in here, apart from, you know, obviously pick up everything that's here. you got a chest over here. I find the chests are a bit hit and miss these days. I think you're going to get the best weapons and armor off, you know, taking out these bosses, to be honest. So, all right, well, we'll reload this a few times to see what we get. And then we can head up to our last location. I'm just going to do three locations for you guys on this planet, moon, I should say. Uh, just to show you the, the what I think are the three best locations that you can look for. And um, definitely, if you find one of these locations, you, you definitely uh, find this particular boss. This one's probably the best one so far. It's got a 98 Pirate Legend. And um, if you're looking for that, um, which I am looking for the hard target, uh, then this is the guy that you're going to get it off, I'd say. So, But if you're after the first one we did, obviously Valran, 
Valrun, uh, you're going to get um, their particular weapons from them. So I know a few people like those weapons. I don't particularly like them, but um, yeah, that's everyone's got their own style of play. So I'm going to re-roll this one a few times to see what we can get. And we'll be back in a second with whatever we got. All right, guys, we uh, re-rolled it a few times to see what we could get. And we managed to get this big bang. It's a legendary rifle. Um, I already have one. I'll bring up mine. You can see mine's a skip shot. I've got a few mods on mine, so... Um, it's I've got cornered corrosive and skip shot. This one is extended magazine, hitman, and elemental uh, randomly deals corrosive, yeah, etc. So it's actually pretty good, and obviously the stats uh, would increase if once I modded it as well. So just bear that in mind. But um, yeah, you can see the benefits of doing the the reroll. I'm not going to grab this big bang. Um, I've already got one, although the the value. You can see it's quite good for 46,000 if you're after credits. I'm not after credits, so you can see I've got plenty of credits. But um, that would be a good gun to get on this particular guy. So, yeah, we'll uh, we'll head off to our last location. I said I'd do three for you guys just to show you three really good spots on this moon that are good for farming. And keep your eye out for these three spots. This will be the last one. And make sure that you head on to this moon. And, yeah, like I said, hit that... Uh, that hard on your you know make sure your settings are on the, the very hard before you land and bef and then before you enter buildings and uh, to get the most out of this but uh, we'll head off to the last location now and see how we go all right guys we're at our last location this is my absolute favorite location if you can find this i think it's called the abandoned hangar it is pretty common i think look i've seen it a few times i wouldn't say it's the most common but it has uh, an above ground and a, and a below ground, which I love about it. So, and I think I've had ships come in while I've been attacking this particular base as well. There's lots to it. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy this. We're going to um, set ourselves up on that tower and kill that guy. And then we're going to use that height of the tower, yeah, the abandoned hangar, there we go, to take out the rest of the people. So we'll just go up here. Hopefully we don't get seen. Oops. All right, we'll take him out. And then we got this bird's eye view up here, so we can just start picking them off. There's quite a few people. And let's get to find them all. These guys are quite low level up here. There is a couple of captains below us, I think. Okay, I think that's two over here. Okay, and then we've got um, yeah, we've got a fifty here, and I think there's another one here. It's uh, what is it? A 86 so but they we've got a higher level one downstairs so we'll just take these guys out I think we've... all right I think we've got just the one left Alright, I think that's it for the above ground. So this a whole area up here, you could spend time looking through all this if you want to. I will um, just check the guys just in case there was something that dropped that I wanted. Spoils of victory. Now there's two ways down into this them. particular area. There is a um, an elevator. It's probably the quickest way. I think that's over here. So there's the elevator there and I think there might be some stairs through that hab so actually we'll go through the hab and we'll work our way down to the bottom so there's a bit of close quarter stuff in here so make sure you got a close quarter weapon you're sort of heading in this way now like I said I'm just skipping past if you say oh you missed that missed that don't worry I'm just skipping past all the boxes and stuff I'll come back and loot everything later just wanted to show you this place really quickly 
And usually there's some people in this area. Go. He had a legendary on him somewhere. So oh, there it is over there. He was like a level two, which is weird. So uh, shattering modified. Yep, not something I'm after. But there you go, first legendary for this one. And like I said, uh, we get a ship landing here sometimes. I think I can hear it coming in. So we'll work our way down. I've never been able to steal the ship though. So just bear that in mind. So the ship you can see is landed and they get some people come out of it, so... So we've got a 50 captain over there. We have a... there we go, there's a, there's a 90, 98. So that's our big guy. So we want to take out everyone but that person. That way we can spend a bit of time on re-rolling the save. Uh, we'll get over this way. Oh, that's <laughs> one of mine. <laughs> that's so funny. All right, we. I'm not sure if that's the last one. I'm just trying to do a quick scan. Oh, there's another one on the other side. All right, and there's there is some boxes in here as you can see they generally don't have anything although this time it has a legendary in it that'd be right not something i'm after but there you go um so and we've got these dumbasses in here i don't know what's going on here they're just sort of sitting here i've never had that happen before but um inaccessible there you go so you can't get into this one Yes, that is going to take off. There you go. Alright, I think there might be one or two loose cannons around somewhere, but we will take out the uh, pirate legend and we'll re-roll. Hopefully get something good. This will be the last one we do today, so... Where'd you go? I wasn't paying attention. Ah, it's always the way, isn't it? I actually killed the uh, pirate legend before I had a chance. Ah, All right, well, we uh, we ruined our our save and <laughs> we didn't get out you gotta be really careful there so uh we ended up with this but uh that was the highest one of the highest legendary ones we've had a pirate legend they dropped some pretty good stuff so i've got to save i saved before i came in here so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna uh, play this again myself and see if i get something good i'll uh tack that on the end really quickly so you guys can see what sort of stuff i can get so uh Hang around for a few more minutes, we'll have this all wrapped up and I'll just rerun this really quickly so I can show you uh, re-rolling what I'll actually get with this Pirate Legend. These guys are the best guys to get, 98 is the highest you can get in game. So this location is definitely by far my favourite location, it's pretty quick as you saw, like I mean I've got some pretty good guns and stuff so that does make it easier obviously. Uh, and you could lower the level of difficulty if you wanted to, but just make sure like I said you land on this planet and, and jump around on this planet in uh, that highest difficulty. So back in a second and we'll see how we go with uh, getting something good out of this person all right we just uh took it down the second time and did the quick save this is the first shot actually so i haven't done a rerun on this one yet but i managed to get this um bridger straight up which was 
Not too bad. If you into the Bridger, I am not into heavy weapons as I said before, but this is anti personnel. Has lacerated uh, bleeding, so and in rounds sometime emit electricity. So actually, pretty good gun. The only reason I don't like this gun is the uh, rounds are pretty hard to get sometimes. So that's probably something to think about. Yeah, that's pretty hard to get the rounds for this guy. But I'm gonna re-roll this a couple more times and show you uh, my last last legendary, and then we'll wrap this uh, video up. All right, guys, just to finish off, we finally uh, managed to get something decent. We managed to get a mag sniper at us, um, pirate legend. So we're just going to have a look at the stats on it now. And you can see it's um, demoralizing. Um, so it's 30% damage while in space. So that's the only downside with this particular gun. I don't like space adapt on a sniper rifles. Good for close combat, but... Who's going to pull out a sniper rifle or a you know a long distance rifle in the I guess in a in a spaceship probably not going to so I think the minus 15% damage on a planet is probably the negative on this one staggering is okay and the, yeah this was an average gun but you know like it just proves if you just re-roll this enough times you basically need two things one is time and the other one is luck so. Look guys, I've, I'm going to finish this video up. Uh, please hit that like button. Spend a lot of time editing and, and recording this video. So And consider subscribing if you're enjoying them. And we'll see you on the next video. Thanks again. Wombat out.